up everybody it's your boy the kryptonian saying here bringing you a review for one piece chapter 629 that's pretty fucking funny what brooke just did man he's just like yo do you what do you think i did when i first uh got this ability to make my soul leave my body the fucking pervert man <laughs> Fucking pervert. <laughs> and I like how Usopp's just like, man, I'm so jealous of him, Zoro. And Zoro's just like, yeah, just get me a sword, get those keys. If I get one sword, I can chop all their asses down. Like, okay. Okay. Wow, Zoro's super focused. And actually, Zoro seems really, really pissed off. I like that. Don't get me wrong. I really like it. I really like it. But here's the, here's the, real meat of this chapter that kind of I'm going to focus this review on Nico Robin this is interesting so I guess like she created some type of illusion or something maybe she's gotten really really quick but when Jin B and Luffy are getting ready to mix it up right and they're getting ready to throw the throw the punches for round two because Jin B has that fishman karate ability where he's able to kind of you know use the water and everything inside of Luffy's body and is able to deliver a solid hit on him. And Luffy is, you know, going into gear two and using the gum gum jet pistol. And right in that moment, he's just like, is that the is that all of your training? Is that all you have to show for it? And you can tell Luffy's about to get deadly serious. Nico Robin shows up. You're thinking, oh shit, they're about to hit her. Sanji comes in, ready to kiss. And all of them just seem to get taken out like that. Like that, like the punches collide. I guess Sanji backhanded both of them on accident. All kind of fall out. Then Nico Robin pops up in the fucking forest and comes out. And I mean, shit, man. If it ain't, maybe it's just me, but her breasts got bigger. And she went to the pone glyph. And I guess she got like a cup, cup uh, increase on top of that. Like, holy shit. I mean, I'm a boob guy, so I mean, I don't mind. But goddamn, man. Like, shit. Shit. So let me get my head back in this, right? So what's really, really interesting about this is the language she's using. She says, well, hey, you guys are friends. Friends shouldn't fight. And the poem glyph she read was kind of like an apology. I'm guessing that's kind of like the fish man. And it's just interesting that after she reads that, she shows up and she breaks down the fighting like that. And... Like I said, apology and just this whole theme that's going through. I mean, this is interesting. This this is interesting. But I like how Jimby takes this opportunity to try and Luffy proof it. What I mean by Luffy proof, like when you dummy proof something, you make it to where even an idiot can understand it. Well, when you Luffy proof something, you make it to where Luffy can understand it without falling asleep. And he says like, hey, you got to understand the optics of this, right? Like you got friends. That's cool. Let me go in and save them. You gotta understand, there are people who are still a little upset that the queen died. And even though all along was really, really bad, there are people who think that he was hunted down because he was a fish man. If you, the person who vanquished him, entered the fray, do you understand the optics of this? You can't do it, Luffy. You can't do it. And Luffy, in typical Luffy fashion, is just like, Fuck that shit, I can't go. But I like how Sanji ends up being the voice of reason. He says, like, hey, we got we made some friends on this island. Our crewmates are uh, locked up. It's kind of our fault that the king is tied up. Like, we need to make amends. We have a reason to fight. And when I read that, I said, okay, this is different than Marineford. Hopefully, Jinbi can see that. Like, yeah, Luffy had a reason. That was his brother. But at the same time, that was more of a white beard pirates versus world government thing. And yes, you could say this is Fishman getting ready to take over uh, King Neptune's palace and the people from Fishman Island need to, you know, go through this. But at the same time, Luffy is a human. And Luffy's from the land, you know, if you will. He's a land dweller. I forgot what that's from, but he's a land dweller. And so because of that, it only makes sense for him to get involved. It only makes sense. He's already got that bond with the princess and him protecting the princess in that manner with Vander Decker and everything. Like, it makes sense. Vander Decker, excuse me. But it makes a lot of sense for him to get involved at this point. So, 
I'm wondering how old is going to kind of twist all this in. And I'm also wondering, are Zoro and them going to get, you know, free? You know, Brooke is currently trying to get the keys and everything by getting the starfish to help him out. And you got the typical humor with the ghosts and everything. So, I mean, I get it. But the way Oda's setting this up, I feel as if it's not just going to be the Straw Hats who are fighting. And we do know that, you know, the Fishman from the Fishman District are on their way. Hody Jones has asked for more pills, more steroid pills. So he's getting ready to juice up. But this feels like this is going to be a fight that's going to be bigger than just the Straw Hats. It's going to be bigger than them. So I'm wondering if maybe they team up with the princess, but at the same time, how many people does Hody Jones have coming? Because I think we already have one, and the way they build it, I think they said there's four fishmen, uh, captains or something like that, a squid, and there was something else. But if he's got a crew, how big is the crew? Are we looking at something like Don Krieg, where it's several several ships worth of people and that's what i'm thinking simply for the fact that he says we just need to leave a few men on the outside and this is in a pre uh and penetrable place you know like I i'm wondering the size of this and i'm wondering what the actual battleground is going to look like so my chapter question to you guys is going to be what are your thoughts about sanji not Sanji, Nico Robin interjecting and kind of saying you guys are friends. Friends shouldn't fight. You need to talk this out. What are your thoughts on this? And have you ever been in a situation where somebody had to be the voice of reason between you and a fellow friend when you guys kind of got into it? But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Have an awesome day.